so very good day once again this is technological innovation and new media and of course once again we are dealing with uh, networks we are going to uh, evaluate in detail the best effort uh, service model and of course we are going to identify the limitations then we understand the resource allocation as well as the metric factors associated with it of course this is especially for you my dear students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr.christoanand at the rate of gmail.com before beginning the session once again let me thank god for giving me this golden opportunity to deliver this useful session share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers so here we will have a short introduction to best effort service then we discuss about the internet phone it is not ip it is actually internet phone application then uh, normally when we consider with the best effort services we consider the limitations and then we consider the end to end uh, delay problems as well we understand the example scenario how you try to remove the uh, error or maybe noise or maybe delay or maybe jitter at the receiver for the audio then we discuss about the fixed play out delay okay then we discuss about the play out schedules how uh, you will be scheduling these algorithms what are the round trip time that is actually required how you can actually deal with the network issues that we will be displaying then uh, a flexible or maybe adaptive play out delay the round trip uh, time as well so the time taken from the sender to receiver and from a uh, receiver to sender so that time uh, that is taken to actually transmit and then then receive as well and then we discuss about um, uh, play out time calculation about very important concept which is fec forward error correction okay so normally we would be using this uh, to uh, especially deal with filters deal with filters and uh, deal with noises as well and then we discuss about the nominal audio stream so normally whenever you are uh, dealing with uh, audio audio functions whenever you have to uh, deal with quality or maybe uh bandwidth problems as well we uh, we will go for these functions and then we will be picky packing the lower quality redundant information and of course we have some minimum work for you please complete them at your best available time and at regular intervals i will be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics right so whenever you consider the internet protocol we will be having best case worst case average case so here we will be uh, analyzing the best case uh, capability so in the best case capability normally in the network uh, we will be uh, making the best use of the uh, network with regards to bandwidth with regards to how you calculate the efficiency uh, what are the uh, minimum uh, queuing uh, problem that is uh, you are analyzing like uh, you will be analyzing with the maximum minimum uh, queuing and so on so for every individual packet that you are going to consider you are going to have this end to end delay so for this end to end delay we will be having the packet jitter or maybe the noise the background noise that is being present and of course whenever we are sending the packet definitely from the transmitter end uh, it is okay it is going without any problem but due to the delay or maybe the noise there is some packet loss or maybe uh, the at the receiver we will be having the packet delay as well so for this Uh, when you are you are dealing with the ip internet uh, phone not the internet protocol internet phone or maybe like a real time uh, video conferencing like maybe like google meet or maybe zoom whatever you are trying to make for and uh, we will be having some packet delay sometimes you will say i am not uh, hearing the noise properly i am not uh, uh, the the audio quality is not good uh, the background noise i am getting too much okay so that problem we will be getting and of course Uh, we should make sure that uh, the audio whatever we are processing uh, should have the uh, uh, best possible gain and of course the noise suppression as well good quality and of course like uh, audio and video we should be having good quality so delay jitter noise should not be more okay so in the internet uh, for phone applications uh, whenever we are making a call okay like internet calls we are making like there will be cross stops so that is nothing but it is exceeding the particular frequency so that is the reason you are getting some cross stops okay 
So during the talk, general talk, okay, the sender it is going to generate the byte at a rate of 8 kbps and every 20 millisecond the sender is going to gather the byte into small amount of data, what you call it to be the chunk, okay. So the number of bytes in a chunk is nothing but 20 millisecond multiply by 8 kilobyte per second. So that is actually 160 bytes. So 160 bytes is the number of bytes in a small chunk that we are going to send, okay. So like this the, the sender is going to gather some information and uh, it is going to transmit as well. So from sender to the receiver we are going to make the communication as clear as possible. Then we have the user datagram uh, protocol, okay. So uh, we are sending it to the layer or maybe we are sending it to the uh, socket interface we are, we are sending the data. So here the UDP, the segment we are passing on to for every communication or maybe for every talk it is sent for every 20 milliseconds. That is what we saw over here, okay. For every 20 milliseconds the sender is going to gather the uh, bytes, okay, or maybe data. So maybe if each packet is making it to the receiver like no loss is there which means that every 20 millisecond we will be uh, getting the data correctly. If there is some delay, if there is some loss means we will not be getting every 20 seconds, I mean sorry 20 milliseconds. So in this case we will be having like uh, within the calls, uh, I did not hear properly, uh, there, there is some uh, delay problem as well. Okay. So the receiver can simply play back each chunk as soon as it arrives. So when we do the playback, then definitely you can analyze the performance and you can make sure that the data has been received correctly. There has been limitations as well. So the receiver must actually take care or maybe determine when to play back the chunk. Okay. And determine what to do with the missing chunk because there is uh, as I, as, I, as I told you in the last class, best effort uh, model or maybe best case model is not normally used. It is actually rarely being used. So whenever it deals with the loss, data loss or maybe packet loss, there is no definite solution. We are making a solution, but there is no definite solution to it. Okay. So with regards to packet loss or maybe the user datagram protocol, it is using uh, this one. So UDP is actually going to encapsulate in the IP datagram and IP datagram is going to make it through the socket interface through the receiver. So one or more buffers in the router from the uh, sender to the receiver is full and uh, just like a bottleneck model where uh, generally only uh, some limit has been accepted, the remaining is actually discarded. Okay. So the IP datagram is being discarded and definitely it becomes a last packet. So whenever it becomes a last packet, it never arrives to the receiving application and loss can be eliminated by sending the packets over the TCP rather than over the user datagram protocol. So uh, the main problem of this uh, best effort service model is that retransmission is not acceptable. Normally when you transmit, whether you are, you are getting the uh, data you are getting the actual transmission or not that we cannot make sure so once again we tra we retransmit retransmission is also not accept acceptable for this interactive real time audio video multimedia applications as well okay so due to uh, uh, tcp congestion protocol after the packet loss the transmission rate can be reduced to a lesser rate at the receiver so that is the uh, uh, main uh, thing that we are going with the TCP congestion protocol. So as I told you retransmission is not possible, retransmission is not possible for the interactive uh, multimedia applications, okay. So um, uh, when you consider the best uh, effort uh, services model, these applications, this internet uh, phone applications, it is running over the user datagram protocol. That is the reason we cannot go for retransmission or we cannot go for retransmitting the last packets okay so losing packets uh, we have in the rate like maybe one percentage to 20 percentage that can be tolerated but more than 20 percentage that can be considered as a loss and you will not be hearing them properly okay so this is how you can go with the solution the best solution would be fec forward error correction okay so with the forward error correction so you can 
recover the last uh, data packets okay you can get it from the useful information and once again you can go for retransmission and in the receiver you can get what is actually lost what is actually delayed before between the sender and the receiver maybe let us take in the case if the channel or maybe the socket interface is too much congested okay and uh, maybe packet loss normally we, we saw in uh, 1 to 20 percentage okay tolerable but greater than 20 percentage if it is exceeding 10 to 20 percentage it is ex exceeding means so we can we can we cannot do anything like uh, we cannot deal with uh, uh, achieving this acceptable uh, sound quality okay so that is what you call to be the limitations so but definitely we can consider forward error correction to be an alternate solution for this problem then we have uh, end to end delay as well okay so we will process the delay we will queue the delays as well so for the applications like internet phone uh, generally this uh, end to end delay will be less than 150 milliseconds but uh, normally we are dealing with normally we will deal with 20 milliseconds but uh, end to end delay for the higher audio application we will deal with lesser than 150 milliseconds that is actually not perceived okay because greater than 20 milliseconds problem so less than 150 milliseconds still problem okay so that is actually not uh, actually tolerable by the human uh, listener so delays uh, delays between 150 and 400 milliseconds can be acceptable okay but still not ideal so delays ex exceeding 400 milliseconds would be having like a, a, a different voice conversation that is actually considered as the the greatest end to end delay problem okay so uh, maybe if you can uh, say like uh, uh, more than uh, 400 milliseconds that is considered as a problem that is considered as a jitter so we will consider this uh, diagram uh, between the end station es1 r1 r2 es2 we will have the segment 1 segment 2 segment 3 2 mbps 2 mbps 2 mbps we are having the distance to be 5000 kilometer 4000 kilometer 1000 kilometer okay we can uh, analyze the end to end delay so like uh, greater than 4 milliseconds definitely it is considered as exceeding the threshold and uh, end to end delay is considered okay so which means that there is more packet loss then we will have delay jitter as well so the time taken from the when the packet is generated until it is received at the receiver can fluctuate from packet to packet okay so this delay the random queuing delay that is being generated is called as the jitter okay so random queuing delay you can call it as the jitter this is an example scenario like uh, we have the number of packets with regards to uh, the latency okay right so uh, we have like uh, orange color high jitter okay and blue color we have low jitter from the center you have the mean or maybe the average and th this is considered as the jitter buffer okay and for higher jitter also we are considering the jitter buffer and for each of them we are calculating the effective lat latency as i told you the packets the delay if it is greater than 20 milliseconds uh, definitely we will be having this jitter or maybe this end to end delay problem as well so at the receiver the spacing between the packets can become greater than 20 milliseconds right so even uh, the first as well as the second packets if you can see higher jitter than low jitter okay it is spaced for more than 20 milliseconds so spacing between consecutive packets can also become less than 20 milliseconds okay so for this you can consider two consecutive packets within the uh, talking uh, spurt so the first packet will be joining the end of the queue with a large number of packets and maybe the second packet will arrive to the queue before the packet from the other sources arrive to the queue so that is also one such problem where uh, we will be having the spacing to be lesser than 20 milliseconds so first and second uh, packets would be spaced less than 20 milliseconds you know what is the thing because first is spaced and then second comes before the first so spacing would not be equal to or maybe greater than the 20 milliseconds but it will be lesser than the 20 milliseconds so you can also go with the these spacing like uh, uh, in the roads between the cars or maybe between the vehicles you can go for example let us take one example you and your friend are driving in your own cars maybe like uh, you can say maybe like a 
samarkand to kashgadari or any samarkand to tashkent you can you can go for okay suppose you and your friend have similar driving styles like you travel at the same time like maybe 100 kmph 100 km per hour provided there is traffic also okay so uh, suppose your friend maybe one hour before like uh, eight o'clock he is starting but you start only at nine o'clock okay depending on this traffic you may arrive maybe at Kashkadariya more or less one hour after your friend of course because of the traffic he also has traffic uh, I also have traffic we have both the same driving styles we have both the driving speeds also but okay one hour later okay if receiver ignores the presence of jitter okay and plays out the chunk as soon as they arrive so resulting audio audio quality can easily become uh, much negligible for the receiver so jitter can be removed by using the sequence numbers or maybe timestamps or maybe play out delay if this traffic problem if this delay has been reduced we can uh, actually calculate okay for example you are traveling at 100 kilometer so you also 100 kilometer okay we can say you arrive at uh, 8 o'clock and i arrive at 9 o'clock but uh, in between we have delay problem as well we do not we do not know for you delay would be maybe like a one hour for me delay would be 30 minutes means i arrive 30 minutes still more ahead so that is the reason you can come up with uh, overcoming with the several sequence numbers timestamps or maybe play out delay as well so for the internet phone or maybe audio in demand we can go with the play out continuous play out if you can go with the voice strength you can actually remove the jitter at the receiver okay so what you can do you can add a sequence number for each chunk for each small a bit of data and the sender is going to add or we increment the sequence number by one for each of the packet it generates and then after adding the sequence number we are adding a timestamp for each chunk the sender stamps each chunk with a time at which the chunk was generated and of course you can delay the play out so delaying the play out will actually remove the jitter at the receiver for the audio so maybe uh, you can uh, go for the scheduled play out times as well and you can add the sequence number add the uh, timestamp and you can uh, generate uh, the time at which the chunk was generated and you can go with this one okay so you can remove the jitter at the receiver for the audio so we have some playback strategies as well okay so if uh, packets if, if it is not properly coming at the time okay at the scheduled play time so scheduled play time we will be fixing if it is not arriving means it is considered as lost or if it is considered as forgotten okay so this you will be using in the speech interpolation uh, interpolation process for accounting for any loss which of the data has come up with any loss so that we would be uh, calculating as i told you we are adding the sequence number we are all also adding the timestamp so we can come out with what are the actual data that is being lost we can come up and for this we can use play out strategies or maybe playback strategies we have play out delay fix a play out delay and then adaptive or maybe flexible uh, adapt uh, play out delay so for the fixed delay strategy it is going to play out each chunk exactly few milliseconds after the chunk is being generated so if you do it in this way the receiver will play out the time okay play out the chunk at the time t plus q which is which is, the meaning is exactly q milliseconds after okay so q added with t okay assuming the chunk has arrived at the time t plus q okay so packets which arrive after the scheduled play out time are considered as discarded or will be considered as lost okay so only during this time interval we are calculating and maybe some plus or minus maybe like five minutes ten minutes okay students are allowed to enter the class and after that it is considered as last so that is considered as the reliable transmission okay so note that the sequence numbers are not necessary for the fixed delay strategy and uh, in the presence of occasional packet loss we can continue this fixed play out strategy so there are scheduled playback times as well sometimes what happens we try to miss the scheduled playback times also due to the network induced delay jitter it is not our problem it is the network problem okay so maybe if there are larger variations in the end to end delay 
we maybe we can use larger value of q maybe like uh, okay instead of uh, allowing 10 minutes i can allow 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes so in that case maybe <coughs> you can have a schedule playback time definitely the delay will be small variation in delay will also be small and of course we can fix the threshold limit to be lesser than 150 milliseconds okay so sender is going to generate the packet at regular intervals specifically every 20 milliseconds so if you are having this kind of a delay which means that you can assure uh, data delivery without any delay so we will have two playout schedules for the first playout schedule as well as second playout schedule so the fixed initial playout delay maybe we will have p minus r so maybe you can have one first packet second packet third packet comes in time fourth packet does not come in time by the <coughs> schedule time okay so first three packets are considered fourth packet is never considered and is considered to be last okay second play of schedule will have second chance okay so fixed initial play of delay is set to p dash minus r that p dash is nothing but <coughs> a small variation in the original time that is considered a second chance Re, re test like, like that okay so for this schedule all of the packets are in before the schedule playout time so therefore second chance if you give no loss so that is considered to be the best strategy for the playout schedules this is the thing i am talking this is uh, p minus r and this is p dash minus r for the first thing we are having the packets to be generated here for the p minus r we are having the packets to be generated and this is the loss okay if if you can see in the p dash minus r there is no loss okay we are, we are getting the packets whatever we are transmitting we are going to receive it and we are not having any loss uh, just like the fixed playout schedule we will have the adaptive playout schedule so uh, normally the packets uh, will make will be having the meeting the deadlines so whatever the at the within the uh, corresponding time interval the packets should receive at the receiving end so Whenever it, it is going to do uh, uh, like a transmission reception correctly, there will be negligible loss as well. So maybe uh, if you take in the case of internet phone, internet only, there will be longer delays. Okay. So playout delay to be minimized and uh, provided the case, there will be loss would be very, very less. Okay. But sometimes in internet phone, delays will be much more. Okay. So that is the reason for the internet phone type of application. We will be using adaptive playout delay uh, schedule. For this case, we can uh, keep consideration of the uh, mean or maybe average or maybe uh, variance, like uh, what you have to be sigma and then sigma square. Okay, so that factor we can uh, calculate and we can keep it to the optimal extent. So maybe you are you are going for compression or maybe uh, even elongation also. That will not correspond to a delay. Okay, for example, if we are uh, uh, if you are having an allowed delay, for example, if we are not speaking for, for a long time, I mean for, for a short time of uh, interval, uh, that is not considered as a delay. That is as, uh, that is actually altered by the adaptive uh, play of threshold. So we will have the PI, which is the timestamp of the ith packet. So this is the time packet which is generated by the sender. Ri is nothing but the time packet i is received by the receiver and pi is nothing but the time packet i is played at the receiver so there is difference pi timestamp ri the time packet received pi played time packet played at the receiver okay so we will have the end to end network delay ri minus ti so because of this uh, network jitter we will have this delay uh, it will be varying from packet to packet. We cannot say network data will be same all the time and uh, it will be same for uh, one packet and so on. Okay. So we will have DI which is nothing but the average network delay and uh, it is going to have DI is equal to 1 minus U DI minus 1 plus U into RI minus DI. Okay. Right. So U is nothing but one constant. We will have 0 0.01. Okay. And DI of course you know average network delay. Okay and ri a time packet received by the receiver and ti the time interval okay so di is actually this uh, average network delay is actually smooth for the uh, delays so we will have ri minus t1 up to ri minus t1 round trip time 
as i told you from sender to receiver and then, then from receiver to sender we are having this uh, transmission okay so uh, definitely even for the round trip uh, time also we will be having uh, the delay factor as well and this delay factor we will be uh, having or maybe we will be calculating the average or maybe we will be uh, finding out the standard deviation out of this average delay and for this we will have vi is equal to 1 minus u vi minus 1 plus u into that is a constant ri minus ti minus the uh, delay average time delay okay so vi and di we are calculating for every uh, packet that is being received and you are going to de uh, determine the play out uh, time as well. so play out time we are calculating uh, for the packet pi is equal to ti plus di plus k into vi okay so k is nothing but a constant here k is also a constant there we consider u as a constant here k is a constant normally you can take maybe one or maybe two or maybe three or maybe four as well okay so that constant it is going to calculate for the uh, packet pi so you are going to find out the play time so uh, the play play out time you are going to fix it have the fixed time to be the play out time so when you have a corresponding threshold which means data loss would be minimum and you can calculate the play out time uh, correctly okay and you can also go for recovering from the packet loss as well so packet is lost of course the same thing only we are saying okay if neither it receives at the receiver or if it is arriving after that scheduled time okay so in a phone we will be having these applications as well and for recovering we will be having as i told you in the start of the class fec forward error correction okay so these are the loss anticipation schemes for fec as well as interleaving so we will as i told you retransmission normally is not appropriate or maybe it is not possible sometimes we cannot say over the phone can you you can say okay can you please speak but you cannot make the packets itself to retransmit sometimes it happens sometimes uh, uh, even in the video also we can say uh, there is delay means suddenly it will play that is that is possible but audio it is not actually possible uh, sometimes it happens sometimes it will not happen so the forward error correction uh, we are adding this uh, connection number and then just like adding the timestamp we are adding the redundant information to the original packet stream and we will be calculating the approximations okay so for the mechanism we are adding this redundant information to each chunk of the data that we will be calculating and the redundant chunk is actually odd it is not anded but it is odd okay by with the n chunks so in this case if the let us take in the case if n is considered as the total number and maybe one tolerable limit n plus one packet is lost the receiver cannot actually fully construct the last packet okay so maybe if two or uh, more packets also lost that also it is not possible it is not possible to reconstruct the last packets but if you keep n plus 1 and also the group size to be very very small which means that the amount of data can be recovered but provided the loss should not be more okay that is uh, more concern n plus 1 should be small and also loss should not be more if in this case you can reconstruct you can recover the last packet okay but smaller if the group size is very small so definitely transmission rate of the audio stream will also be high and definitely uh, the loss will also be high so that you have to keep it minimum okay so the transmission rate increases by a factor of 1 by n for example if n is equal to 3 transmission rate increases by 33 percentage so this was the nominal audio stream i was talking about like uh, uh, <coughs> during the talks word like during the communication the receiver schedule will be having periodic playback and uh, in the worst case scenario first packet in the group is lost maybe let us take in the case which means that receiver what it will do first packet is last means so similarly the remaining transmissions it will delay 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 okay so for only after delaying only we can actually get the entire information if maybe if we don't delay means we will have like miscommunication okay so you will be having forward error uh, correction mechanism 
to send a lower quality audio stream. So maybe if we append this, if we increment this redundant information, we will be having a nominal audio stream and of course the low bitrate as well. So for this one, we will be having pulse code modulation technique. So that will be uh, rated at 64 kbps and of course a low quality stream would be uh, GSM module or maybe GSM encoding that would be at 13 kbps. So if you keep this redundant stream, if you add, if you increment this one, we can have the delay to be minimum. <coughs> so there are consecutive packet loss as well and there is non-consecutive packet losses as well. So maybe let us take in the case packet loss are irregular or maybe not consecutive, not periodic, which means that receiver can conceal the loss by playing out the low bitrate uh, encoded chunk and low bitrate chunks will have low quality whatever the nominal audio stream that you are calling you will have low uh, uh, audio quality but definitely if you have high quality chunks means we will be uh, having the no chunks would be lost or maybe no uh, uh, chunks would be actually delayed and definitely you will be having a good audio quality so in summary we can say we should have the chunks to be of high quality in this case the delay would be less chunks would not be missed chunks would not be lost and definitely we will be having good overall audio quality okay so here the receiver has to receive two packets before the playback so maybe the increased playout delay will be small so that if the group size is very small means and if we are uh, uh, assuring that uh, the loss is not much means we can have uh, we can reduce this problem so this is the original stream and this is the redundancy we are adding redundant information packet loss is to some extent and we are going to reconstruct the stream so from 1 2 3 and 4 it is going appended redundancy information is appended with 2 1 is added with 3 2 is added with 4 3 is added packet loss is there okay and 1 maybe like uh, in the 2 1 is there okay like uh, in the 4 3 is also there from this you are actually reconstructing the stream and as I told you, if you are having the good quality, high quality means definitely the uh, packet loss or maybe data loss would be minimal. So, for this case, we can have uh, appending the, the same what we discussed in the diagram n minus 1 and n minus 2 low bitrate chunk we are appending. So, uh, upon uh, this one, packet loss if it is there, and from the packet loss, we can actually go for the reconstructed so this is the independent work pixel relationships file formats colored images and models and of course image operations arithmetic logical statistical and spatial operations you can go through them you can finish them and submit them and i will be checking them in the google Classroom.